What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into five bad habits that might just be holding you back. But before we jump in, make sure you smash the like button if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell so you never miss out on the good stuff. So let's roll the intro and dive in. We're all a little guilty of making mistakes in our photographic journey, and some mistakes kind of turn into habits. So recognizing these habits is crucial to our growth as photographers. So number one on the list is over editing in post. <laughs> now I know I've been known to turn those sliders all the way up, but knowing when to pump the brakes is important. Subtlety is key, my friends, and over editing your photos just looks unnatural and distracts from the real beauty of the shot. I couldn't tell you how many disasters that I've created by doing this, but it's a process and we all go through it, right? So moving on. Now, this next one is a really common habit. Well, it's more of a thought process than a habit, but anyway. Uh, so what that is, is number two, relying too much on gear. Sure, having top-notch gear is awesome, but the gear doesn't make the photographer. We all need to just break free from the mindset that if you have the latest and the greatest, that it'll improve your photography. Don't be gear obsessed and you should focus on honing your skills. And remember the best camera is the one that you have. Now this next one, I never really had to worry about because once I decided that photography was the path that I wanted to take in life, I started learning before I even had a camera in my hand. Number three, shooting in auto mode. Auto mode may be convenient, but it won't let you unleash your full creative potential. You have to step out of that comfort zone, you know, switch over to manual mode and allow yourself to learn, and take control of your setting. I promise you, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. I was. Like I said before, I never fell into this and that's only because I had YouTube and plenty of photographers to learn from. So I took what they were doing and I put it towards my own photography and I never really looked back. Next one on the list, I see a lot locally with a few motorsports photographers. And that's number four, ignoring the background. So have you ever captured what you thought was the perfect moment only to realize later that the background was a distraction? It happens to the best of us. You know, if you want your subject to pop in the photo, adjust your aperture. The lower the f-stop, the more your subject will jump out of the background, you know, leaving like a 3D-like feel to the image. Not paying attention to your background can leave a great shot just looking too busy and two-dimensional. This goes back to shooting in manual. Learn the settings to make your subject pop. So this next one can go both ways, but for the sake of this video, I'll just focus on one of them. And that's number five, overshooting. Again, this is something I see a lot in sports photography locally. I've seen almost an entire round of a boxing match in photo form because the photographer just did what we call spray and pray. He held down his shutter in hopes of getting something, even when there was no action. Makes no sense. So avoid the habit of taking hundreds of shots hoping for the best. Take your time, be intentional, and focus on quality over quantity. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you two bonus habits that you should also avoid. Bonus number one, neglecting to tell a story. Something that no one should ever have to tell you is that every photo should tell a story. Don't just capture a scene, capture the emotion, the narrative the essence of the moment. You know, connect with people on a different level through your photos. Maybe it's the hidden photojournalist in me, but when I see a photo that tells a story while also allowing me to interpret the story on my own, it's a photo that I remember. And that's our job as photographers, right? Make people feel something. Let them connect to your art. Okay, so this last one, I'm extremely guilty of. Like almost said I feel like a hypocrite for mentioning it, but it's something that I have been working on and I've been trying to make a good habit of doing. Uh, so bonus number two is not seeking feedback. Sometime we deal with what's called imposter syndrome. 
where we feel like we just aren't good enough. You know, we shouldn't be called photographers. Only comparing ourselves with our own eyes while not really ever seeking any sort of feedback. So share your work, whether it's on social media or right here on YouTube. Seek out that constructive feedback, but be open to criticism. It's one of the fastest ways to grow as a photographer. So don't be afraid to you know put yourself out there. So there you have it, five-ish habits in photography that we should all strive to break. It's a journey, not a destination. Keep shooting, keep learning, and most importantly, keep having fun. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out my website at jeff-gresham.com for photo prints, as well as my upcoming Lightroom presets. So until next time, guys, stay creative and get out and shoot. And I'll see you in the next video.